everyone and welcome to Star Stable vs Red Dead Redemption 2. Disclaimer, RDR2 is actually an 18 plus game, but I will only be showing horsey features and nothing that isn't family friendly. Now I'm actually not pitting Star Stable against Red Dead, I just wanted to show off the features of each of the games. Please note I am using Red Dead Story Mode for comparison as I've yet to play online because I want to finish the story first. So let's get into the video. Number 1. Horse Coats Red Dead Redemption 2 has 90 coat variations in high detail textures, none of which are mirrored or copied. A few colours are only available with special editions or online, but Star Stable has over 300 coats and counting, with some coats being limited edition, six of which became unobtainable with the removal of the old Fjord model. However, it could be argued that some Star Stable coats are almost too similar, and some of them are mirrored as well. Number 2. Map Size Star Stable's map is approximately 3.3 square miles, as calculated by the lovely JSV Productions, and RDR2's map is approximately, um, 29 square miles. But it has been rumoured that the Star Stable map we currently have is only a very small corner of what is to come. Number 3. Animations here I have taken a Shire, Arabian and Thoroughbred from each game and put them side by side. You may find that although Red Dead's animations are fairly similar from breed to breed, it is actually far more accurate to a real horse. In Star Stable, most breeds have relatively unique animations and can really depend on when the model was released. This could be considered a positive because it would vary whether you liked a horse for its gates every time. Now be honest, which side of the screen had your attention the most? You may have found that it was Red Dead. Not only does it give you more to look at, but it almost feels like the horse is unpredictable since it has such a range of animations like head tossing, looking around and shortening the stride it really feels like the horse is alive. Also to note, Star Stable works by eyeballing horse gates, whereas Red Dead did this awesome thing. Number 4. NPCs So I could go on about how the world of Red Dead is alive and there are hundreds of NPCs to interact with, including animals, but I couldn't help but find this funny. I'll make you regret crossing me! Say your prayers, you- Number 5. Horse interactions. As with animations, I have put Star Stable next to Red Dead for all the interactions you can make with your horse. Now, Star Stable has more horse interactions as you cannot pick your horse's hooves or give it water, but you can pet your horse while riding in Red Dead and if your horse gets spooked, it can buck you and you'll have to calm it down. Number six, price. Lifetime for Star Stable is £53, sorry, £52.99, and Red Dead Redemption 2 is £54.99. But I don't know many people who have played Star Stable long term and not bought Star Coins, and a horse in Star Stable averages at about 750 Star Coins, which translates to 1476. On the other hand, however, many older or less capable laptops and computers can run Star Stable, 
whereas you need a pretty new and capable PC to run Red Dead. So if you don't have that, you'll need to splash out on cash majorly. Number seven, weather and time. I'm just going to let you enjoy this one. Easy. How you doing, boy? Easy now. Honestly, I love both games for different reasons, but I'd like to point out a feature that RDR2 has that might deter you from getting it if you are a horse lover. Horses can get hurt and even die. It's absolutely heartbreaking when it happens, and I myself haven't experienced it yet, but I know it can happen. Red Dead also has a lot of violence and gore, so I genuinely ask that if you are under 18, you do not play this game. Saying that though, if you love horses and would like a video dedicated to a PG edit of RDR2, let me know and I might be able to make it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive and I will see you in the next video! Bye bye!